But speaking about Aaron Rodgers, well, like I said, he just joined the Jets this season. He's in a new market after spending most of his career in the Green Bay area. And with the way that Jets team is built, I think Aaron Rodgers is a, is a dark horse for a Super Bowl contender with, Aaron, with the Jets. I'm going to be honest. I really do think that the Jets are dark horses for a Super Bowl because let's take a look at the past few years. The Jets, the backup quarterback is still their pick that they got in, what, 2020, Zach Wilson? And he, Zach Wilson looking to be a bust, but maybe he can learn better under Aaron Rodgers. But was Aaron Rodgers really that much of help to Jordan Love when Jordan Love was in Green Bay too? Uh, I'm not so sure. But Jets, they were going to have the rookie of the year last year and Brees all the running back before he got injured. They have Garrett Wilson, a young wide receiver that was better than what Aaron Rodgers had in Christian Wilson in Green Bay. He has Alan Lazard back. He's going to have a very good tight end. And the one thing that he's going to have that's going to be very good is a very good defense. And this way, he doesn't have to worry about throwing the ball so much. Yes, Green Bay did have a good running option, but the way this Jets team is set up, it was only a quarterback away. I honestly believe Green Bay was never, it, it never going to win another Super Bowl, even with Aaron Rodgers in there, because Green Bay's defensive line just had major problems, in my honest opinion. And I just don't really think Green Bay is going to be a title contender for the next couple of years. In fact, I see Green Bay doing terrible this season. Like Jordan Love is going to, even though he has played a couple games in the, in the way Aaron Rodgers was injured, I just don't believe that he is the guy. And even if he is, I just see Green Bay finishing last in their division. I do not see them winning that many games at all. I think they're going to be a top five pick for the 2024 NFL Draft, but moving past the Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Aaron Rodgers is a very questionable quarterback. I mean, he's proven when it comes to on the field, he's definitely one of the top five quarterbacks in the NFL, but it's the way he kind of escapes around the questions and escapes away the round he loses that kind of makes him controversial in my opinion. But I'm not going to deny his greatness. Aaron Rodgers is definitely one of the best quarterbacks of all time. There's no doubting that. But with him being in the New York market, and the New York market, I've heard, is very, very harsh when it comes to their sports teams, the Knicks, the Yankees. They're very harsh when it comes to that. He's going to be playing in the same stadium as the other Giants, the other team, the Giants quarterback, Daniel Jones. And he's going to be the better – he's obviously the better quarterback compared to the two. So the Jets are going to be looked at this year as a playoff contender and a possible Super Bowl contender. So do I really think that Aaron Rodgers is going to make that much of a difference for the Jets, who I believe finished last in the division last year? I, be I believe it was the Buffalo Bills, the Dolphins, Patriots, and the Jets. Yes, he will make a big difference. Is Aaron freaking Rodgers. Come on, man. Is Aaron freaking Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers and this Jets team... I honestly think when I get around to my Jets prediction, I think the Jets will win the NFC, AFC East and Aaron Rodgers will take the Jets into the playoffs after a disappointing year in what I honestly got to say was for him in Green Bay last year.